What is going on guys? Today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys a technique that I teach in my hands-on classes. Really the basic idea of what I try to teach in my classes is to be able to look at any haircut that walks in and know how to approach it. So one thing that I teach guys is called the three finger technique and it's basically gonna show you guys the amount of space you need to do a blend if you follow the steps that I use to fit the fade right underneath the weight line or the transition that you want. So I'm gonna show you guys two examples in this video and I hope it is super helpful and you guys can take this back to the shop and implement it right away. All right guys, we got Philip in the chair. I'm gonna show you guys how I use my three finger technique to determine how much room we need for the fade on the sides. So you guys can see the weight line right here that we're gonna stop at. The fade is gonna come right up underneath that. And you see if I put my three fingers up here, I can see exactly where my bald line needs to stop. And that's where we'll start punching in our guideline. So I can even hold it up here if I want, come in underneath and get it started. I can follow it around the back. I'm gonna obviously move and clean this up. You guys can see that gives us a nice idea. And now we can come in and make it nice and clean. You guys see it will follow the exact shape of the weight line at the top. We can punch this guideline in nice and clean, go ahead and bald it all out, and we can start our first guideline going up. All right guys, so we have the ball guideline in. If we need to, we can place our finger here and I'm gonna be in the way, so I'm gonna step around. You can see the width of my finger and I'm gonna come up that far and make my open guideline. So now we can see the rest of the ball line and that, and now we just follow that from the front to the back, that size, and we'll have our first guideline cut in. Line, we got our open section. Now we have two fingers width left. And again, I got to step over here. I don't know why I keep doing that. So now with the open one, we'll go up the width of my middle finger. Once I have that set in, I can move my fingers out of the way and come in and set that next guideline. All right guys, so you can see our first guideline, second guideline, here's our third. This is a three up here. So I'm gonna come in with the two and we're just gonna start to work on this line right here. All right guys, so you can see the two lighten this line up. Now we will just need to do the one and a half on this line between these two guidelines, the close one right here on this guideline, and then we can do our bald section, blend it into our open section last. Come in with the close one at the bottom of this section. And really I'm going just a little bit up over the line. Guys, I know that I will need the half guard to take that line all the way out. So I'm gonna go up about halfway into that section. And we have blended out everything above it. So we can't really see what's above it. I just kind of have to trust myself and know where I've already been. Make sure I don't go too high, but you can see the one closed is lightening up that line. The half guard will take it the rest of the way out. And then we can focus on that last bald section or open section at the bottom. All right, so our next step is the half guard, half open. That's gonna be our sweet spot right here. Now we're going just through that guideline and we wanna make sure that the open section underneath connects to the closed one that we just did. So if it doesn't connect perfectly, we can close this up, but usually the half, half open is gonna be the sweet spot. And you guys can see already a pretty decent blend going on here. And all we'll have left after this is that open section at the bottom. Be nice and easy and we'll be done with this phase. All right, so all we have left is this bottom section. I'm gonna start with the clipper closed. We punch the line in with the trimmer. I'm just gonna to start to flick that line out. I wanna stay as low as possible. Everything above it is done, so I don't wanna really hurt anything that I've already done. You see we bumped that out, now we can go half open. And we already set our guideline in with the clipper open, so this should be the last thing that we need. And you guys will see we got a finished, nice, easy fade. We left all the weight above it alone, and that is the purpose of using that three finger guide to kind of tell you where to go. I don't always actually hold my fingers up against the head, I can kind of visualize it, but that was my way of showing you guys exactly kind of the spacing that I determine where I'm gonna put everything for my fade. So you guys can see now we were able to blend that out. Nice weight line on top. We'll go ahead and line up a C cut, but that's not what this video is about. So I'm gonna show you guys this again on DC. 
with a burst fade. All right guys, so we got DC in the chair. I wanna show you guys another example of the three finger technique. You guys can see the white line right here. So basically I wanna put my three fingers up there and I can see where I wanna start that guideline to give myself enough room to do the fade. Now if we drop it back behind following the white line, you'll notice that we're kinda of in the ear and we don't have enough space here. So we will have to tighten it up. You guys can really see that kind of that shape as it gets tighter behind the ear. But this can give us an idea where to start. And then I'm just gonna take it to basically where his hairline already is. So if you guys literally need to hold it up there, just hold it up there, see where your line is. And you guys can punch in your ball guideline. And then like I said, I'll come off the back of his ear, work my way up towards that guideline. And that is gonna help us ensure that we have enough space on every fade. I know I can always go through my steps in that amount of space, and we've already cut everything down to a two open up here, so I know I can fade right into it. All right, guys, so moving on to the next part, if we throw our three fingers up here, flush with the bald guideline, I can pull back my first finger, that's my ring finger, and I can visualize where my open section needs to go to. Now moving on guys, we have our open, and now we can see where our open one needs to be. So you guys should be able to see, this is our weight line that we started with. I did a two up into that. Here's our ball guideline, and each section is the width of my finger. I have plenty of room to fade all these lines out, plenty of room to fit the fade where I want it, and that is really how I place that on a haircut like this. And like I showed you guys on the fade, you can do it on a fade, a drop fade, a burst fade, same thing, it's always gonna apply the same way. But you guys can see we kind of have it mapped out now. So I'm just gonna knock these lines out real quick, and we'll be done. All right, guys, that is it for the three finger technique video. I hope it was helpful for you guys. Comment down below and let me know if you guys are gonna try it out when you get back in the shop. I hope it does help you guys out and lets you put those fades right where you want them. That is gonna give you the best haircut that you can get. Now, if you guys wanna see DC or Phillips haircut that I gave in the video, I'm gonna put them up right here and you guys can check those out.